Okay, Holly, a lot of prep schools for a post-grad year say that kids can retake either one class or if you have an IEP, you can retake three classes. Can you explain what classes specifically these kids can retake and why they might want to do that? Sure. Is this for this is for NCA purposes? Or yes. For, okay. So for NCA purposes, the student has to graduate on time to be able to take that plus one class that preps that fifth year of high school. So let's say a student is a student's going from a US to a US high school. Yep. So they graduate from their first high school in four years. They then go on and do a fifth year at prep school for a PG year. So they could take the NCA would count up to one additional core course post grad. This is the strict rule. This is it. This is not COVID. The the COVID rules that are currently out right now. So the student could take one. If the student has a documented IEP that's been approved through the Office of Disability Services with the NCAA and graduated on time, they would be able to do a plus three. So whether that's a retake or whether that's another core course, so they don't necessarily have to be retakes. They could be a plus one in an, in an academic area that the student wants to take that would then add on to their GPA. So for instance, let's say they got a D in English 12 and they went to prep school and they're really interested in an English course about Shakespeare and they have not already taken that course. That's okay. So let's say they take that course, get an A in it. Well, then that A knocks out that D. Can you well. go back to retake a class from freshman year if it's core, or is it only within the junior and senior year? Well, so for domestic students and international students that have gone on to domestic education, the NCA has a rule for division one that you must achieve 10 core courses prior to the seventh semester of high school. And those 10 courses are locked in. So that GPA and those courses are locked in. So for me, when I would be advising, I would, let's say, I would, I would personally advise a student to take something that could add on to their GPA. So is, it wouldn't necessarily knock out the grade nine English because for that, from that perspective, to meet that first requirement, you have to, that's going to be locked in. Now, gotcha. if you're an international student, let's say you're an international student and you graduated in your home country or another international country, and you came over to do a prep year at whatever prep school, you would not be subjected to that requirement. So they would evaluate you strictly off of international credentials. So a student that presents all international credentials is not held to the requirement of presenting 10 core courses prior to the seventh semester. Because some schools in some countries, their high school is only seven sem or is only six semesters. Mm -hmm. Like they graduate after year 11. So they wouldn't necessarily be, they can't necessarily be held to that. Right.